the 5G train. How many bloody Gs are there? It was a funny commercial that ran during the Super Bowl for Best Buy's buyback protection. The program allows you to sell select electronics back to Best Buy for up to four years. But are they a good deal? A senior editor at The Consumerist doesn't think so. It's too, too expensive, too untested. Uh, there's too many variables that, that we don't know the answers to yet. If you buy a television set for $1,600, you'll need to add on another $180 for the buyback protection. If you decide to upgrade after 12 to 18 months, the maximum the program allows within that time frame is 30%, meaning you'll get back $480. Now subtract that protection plan you paid for and you're down to just 300 bucks. Consumer advocates say it's not the solution to buyer's remorse since you'll only get the money back on a Best Buy gift card. And that's only if your set is in good condition. You'll get less back if it's not. But Best Buy's claim is convenience. There's no need to find a buyer online and ship your product to a stranger. That may be true, but finding a stranger online to sell it to might make you more money. Tech savvy people already know uh, ways to resell this stuff, and they're gonna get much better prices. We reached out to Best Buy to respond to some of these objections, and as of yet, they have not returned my phone calls. So is Best Buy's buyback program best unbought? We've got research you need to see. It's online right now at moneytalksnews.com. I'm Jim Robinson.